In this video, I created a unique movement mechanic inspired by games like Gorilla Tag, Gang Beasts and Octodad. With a team of 3 people, we created a small game to test a single game idea. The idea was about speedrunning, while using a unique movement mechanic. I chose to create movement similar to Mount Your Friends, but in an open world and in 3D. We chose specifically for the monkey theme because, I mean, do I even have to say anything about it? Like, they swing and stuff and that's basically what the game is about. I'm not gonna lie, I love the idea of creating a game combining physics and multiplayer, but <laughs> physics are so unreliable sometimes. I mean, the first thing I had to do was making a ragdoll and uh, see how that turned out. Okay, I just changed a couple of values and now it looks like this. Uh, is it just me or does this guy look like a dog at your friend's house? It looks just as happy as I would if you subscribed? Uh huh? Uh huh? Yeah, okay. If you're interested in how ragdolls actually work, it's basically a couple of chains of colliders that are stuck together using joints. I was pretty stuck at this point. There were a million ways to try and get the results that I wanted. I first tested a way to copy animations onto a ragdoll. It looks great and it would be great for a walking animation, but that's not what I want. I want more of my own control, so I went back to the basics. I made a small list of things that the player should do and I started with snapping the hands onto a surface. I also added a way for the player to add force to the limbs, which created some weird results. But it's in a good direction. I hated the legs, so I chose a different model. Okay, uh, I know what this looks like, it's the model from Gorilla Tag, and no, I will not be making any money from this prototype, please don't sue me, I love your game. Anyways, I did a lot of random stuff and I tested and tested and tested and tested and tested and tested and saw that loading bar so many times. <sighs> but now it looks like this. I'm not gonna lie, I'm really proud of this. Despite it being physics, I almost have no problems with it anymore. As you can see, I also added some indicators on the hands, because while playtesting, people got really confused about which arm is which. I also added a timer, a little bit of my trusted post-processing, and my teammates created a server and a whole island full of courses to explore. I think the end result is pretty nice, I can definitely see myself working on it more. Only after creating this fun little prototype did I realize that the game doesn't have too much potential. I did a bit of market research and I concluded that a game like Fall Guys is very hard to make successful without applying some strategies that Fall Guys did. So yeah, there's a little problem. I am currently not a studio and definitely not backed up by a huge publisher while being on a large team that can give the players continuous content updates. When creating a large multiplayer game, you almost have to step in the footsteps of bigger companies, which is in this case going free to play. All these things makes this game hard to market. However, that doesn't mean that the initial idea should vanish completely. Games like Surgeon Simulator, Octodad, Human Fall Flat, Gang Beasts all fit that category as well, but either aren't multiplayer or have some simplistic active ragdoll movement. I still think that the movement I created can still fit in this niche. What do you think? Do you like the idea? Should I work on it more? I want to create a bigger game, and I've been thinking about that for quite a while. A game I can show from start to finish on this channel. And that's why I've been experimenting a bit with cool game ideas. Let's see what else I can come up with in the future. If you want to stay updated, subscribe.